Hello, Internet. Hello, Sam. Welcome to Henry's Kingdom. I don't know why I'm wearing a crown. I don't know why I have these here. I just feel like it gives me this regal air that I don't normally have. It's after campfire. It's been a little while for me. Um, Sam took a little while to make his episode, and then it was like a weird thing where he made his in the middle of the week. So I was like, uh, do I do it the same Friday? He made his episode three days ago, or do I wait? And I decided to wait. So welcome. It's time for Henry's Diary of How to Adult. I'll, why, why am I wearing the crown? I'll explain that in a minute, I guess. Whatever. Uh, life. Lechaim. Um, I don't know. It's not a lot to say. What's interesting, though, and this is going to go back to Sam's question for me of, like, why, what After Campfire episodes I like to go back and watch is, um, starting this coming week, um, my, working at Amazon, we have to start going into the office three times a week. Um, as we've only been doing one, so that's going to be a big change. I didn't really want to go down and up to three days a week. I was hoping we'd do something more like two, and who knows if they're going to push it to try to push it the five down the line. Don't know. It's better for new people, I guess. But I'm I I got used to a system, and change is scary. Um, that's like kind of the big thing. Um, it's also funny because, like, one thing that's been nice about work from home is working remotely. Like, I've worked from the East Coast. Um, I don't think I've worked from your place, Sam. I think I may have stayed with you and then went to New York City when I was, <laughs> when I was, uh, dealing with some medical issues last summer, and that was fun. I also worked from Alicia's house one day because of that. Um, but later this month, in fact, it might be during, not my next episode, during... At the, at the end of the month, I'm going to Mexico with my sister, and we're going to work from there for a week and stuff, so that'll be fun. So, my question to Sam. So, the thing that I asked him about was, like, what is something, like, you're really proud of that you've, like, accomplished in, like, the last two years or so? And for me, it's, like, uh, I feel like I've already kind of talked about the things that I would answer for that. So, like, I'm, like randomly decided to jokingly wear this crown because like this crown is the monarch token for our magic game night <laughs> uh there's a mechanic called monarch you become the monarch and then people try to become the monarch by taking it from you um the two like really big things in the past few years or three i guess that have been pretty notable in my life is kind of just like Gain like kind of reestablish a reestablished community post pandemic, and a lot of that community has been stuff like my magic nights that have kind of like are something that I support and have created like a space for people to feel welcome. And something that's really fun about that is last week we had a new person. Uh, yesterday we had two new people, so like I've created an environment for people to join, and that makes me happy. And I get to play things that I really like. Um, and I'm glad I made that space for people. I'm glad I have that space for me. Um, other thing being house. Look, I accomplished such an adult thing. House. Um, and the, what was the last thing I was going to say? Oh yeah, game design stuff. With Justin, I've pretty much just made a whole game. Um, which is something I've always wanted to do. Um, and I'm working on another one. And I really need to run a playtest for my first game because I need to get it a little bit further along before I want to, like, print out, like, my alpha version or whatever, but I could do that. I'm pretty much there. I just also have to update the rules. So those are kind of the things that I'm proud of. Though, that reminded me of in Sam's video, uh, he talked about, like, looking for houses with Sydney, and their, the rent that they were going to be paying was, like, over $3,000 or something, like, like, 3400 or something. I'm not spending 3000 a month on this house for not in, with utilities and stuff. I am, but, uh, I, I bought a place in Seattle, an expensive area <laughs> and I'm not playing $3,000. That's a rip off. Holy moly. Except you would have had a backyard and I do not have that. Um, so yeah, good. I'm glad you rejected that offer. We should catch up and talk about that more soon. I'm pretty sure Sam's at the camp. Uh, open house right now, which is funny because he's like actually not going to go back this summer, but whatever. I mean, it sounds fun. I've always wanted to go, but I never really remember until last minute and also be a pain. And also I haven't been part of camp again for a while. Um, yeah. So Sam's question was funny. 
because Sam's question was, which episodes of After Campfire do I go back and look at? Which is fun because, like, again, like, After Campfire is, like, meant to be, like, a time lapse or a time capsule for us that we can look back on and watch. And at some point when I'm older, I think I'm going to literally go through and watch it all, which is going to be a weird, weird experience. <laughs> but for now, I don't watch too many episodes too often. But there are a few that I'll go back to now and then, one of which um, was the one right after the 2016 election, <laughs> with because it's a very fun character study of me trying to be like, all right, let me try to be neutral. This is what happened. And I was like fun wearing like a Captain America shirt with like a tie or like, or something like that. Cause it's like, it's business reporting time. And I spent like, I tried to make that episode like 20 times before I got one I was happy with. <laughs> Cause I don't usually do that many takes. It's usually like the first or second and we're good. But man, that was crazy. And there's like a few other ones from like college, like especially like the very first few that we made that I'll like go back to. Cause it's like, it's really goofy how we began doing this because it was like a very, very telling of like, a, it was a very Henryism thing that started this, which is Sam was making videos for his own sake. And for some reason I decided to make response videos on my personal YouTube channel then we started a back and forth and then we're like, screw it, let's make our own channel like the Vlogbrothers and do this. And we've been doing it for a long time. I don't remember if, I don't think we've had a decade yet. I'm pretty sure we started when I was like 21. So it's been like nine years <laughs> we've been doing this, but it's, it's so cool that we can actually go back and see this. And it's one of those things where like, Last episode, I was talking about, like, being 30 and, like, the changes of, like, my late 20s and or, like, going through my 20s and stuff. And it's funny to look back at, like, I kind of, like, forget, like, how different I was, like, image, like maturity-wise and stuff when I was in my young 20s. Like, it's always funny when you see people online talk about, like, like I'm 30, but, like, and I feel like I'm, like, 20 until I hang out with 20-year-olds and you're like, oh, God, I'm 30. <laughs> like... I definitely am much more comfortable in that mindset now where I'm like, no, I am not a 20 year old, 20 year olds to me are children. Um, for me, until you've like lived and worked in the adult world for like a year, you are a child. Um, whether that means you straight out of high school started work at like 19 or like in like year like 19 or college and you're like 23 or grad school and you're like 25 or whatever like until you've like functioned as a proper adult in a society you were not an adult in my eyes um but yeah so the presidential one is like probably the most frequently one i've gone past i know that there's one that i get recommended to every now and then which is like ah oh man i don't remember the name of the episode exactly but something about my ego um and that that's amusing henry ego shenanigans um, so, Sam, I'm curious to hear what episodes you go back to or not. Uh, and I guess that kind of leads to my question of, like, I just mentioned, like, Henryisms. And I was talking to someone about, like, a few people about this recently. Like, and I know I was talking to Alicia about something about this, of, like, that was such a Henry thing to do. Or, like, this is such a me thing. Like, Sam, either, what... Are there things that you think of of, wow, like that's such a thing that Henry would do or a moment of us hanging out where you're just like, wow, very Henry or whatever. Like, obviously we have like our stupid jokes, inside jokes and stuff, but I don't know if like me saying, Sam, can I touch your beard with my nose is like a Henryism or a joke, a very horrible joke that I'm so sorry has continued this long, but it is very funny. So Sam, tell me. <laughs> Tell me about Henryisms and tell me about After Campfire episodes and I will talk to you later. Goodbye.